Hello everybody, how's it going? Dwight Renfield 86 here. Uh, just got a couple of new movies in the mail and I figured while I showed them off I'd also show you everything that I picked up in the last two weeks before they take their eternal place on the shelves. Let's see, first we've got a Problem Child, the original artwork. Good Times home video. That's awesome, you don't see a lot of these anymore and it's really great. I mean, it's got Michael Richards, you know, I saw this movie way before I knew what Seinfeld was. And so, you know, I always relate Michael Richards to the Bowtie Killer. That's just something that sticks with my childhood memories. And uh, John Ritter's great in this. Uh, fucking Gilbert Gottfried, just, just an awesome fucking movie and an awesome addition. I love snap cases. I collect these and when I ordered it, I wasn't even sure... I didn't think it was a snap case, and so that was a bonus when I realized it was. And love that movie. Next, we got Whitewater Summer. Awesome fucking movie. Used to watch this all the time as a kid. Kevin Bacon's great in this movie. It's got Sean Ashton, and forget everybody else who's in it, but it's got one of the dudes from Teen Wolf in it, and it's just an awesome fucking movie. I know most of y'all have seen this, but if there's somebody out there that hasn't heard of this, you like Kevin Bacon. Do yourself a favor and check this out pronto. Next we have Twilight Time edition of The Believers with Martin Sheen. He fucking kills it in this movie, as he always does. I mean, it's Martin Sheen, come on. <clears throat> Got a real cool voodoo kind of premise to it, and yeah, it's just awesome movie. It's from, it's directed by uh, John Schlesinger. He directed Midnight Cowboy and Marathon Man, which are awesome flicks. So, when I read that, I knew, knew it was the same guy who directed those two movies. I knew that, you know, I was getting into something solid. And the music on this is really good. I really dig the score. And, you know, it's one of the best horror scores I've ever heard. It definitely make the top ten list. And I'm going to do a video in the future about all my favorite horror movie scores. And this one will definitely be in there. So, The Believers. Next, we got the Arrow edition of... Uh, City of the Living Dead, I just got this in the mail, and you can see I'm such a nerd, I already stuck it in a fucking slipcover, but, you know, try and take care of these expensive arrow prints, but this, you know, I already got this on Blue Underground DVD, and the transfer's awesome on there, so I wasn't really looking to upgrade, but, um, you know, this was like $12 brand new on eBay, so I just couldn't pass the price up, I was like, yeah, this is definitely worth $12. <clears throat> into a slither I haven't watched this yet but going to watch it very soon I remember seeing it in the Walmarts of two or three years back or I don't know maybe five or six years back but anyway a few years ago you see this all the time and I didn't think nothing of it I thought it was a snake movie actually so that's why I didn't go all the way to see it because snakes scare the shit out of me but uh now that I know what it's actually about I'm very excited about checking it out Sorry, Lady Bird. Tapped you with that movie. He's like, yeah, I'll bite your ass. <laughs> so we got Stephen King's Needful Things. Uh, I fell asleep during this movie, so I didn't quite finish it, but I'm pretty well aware of what was going on, and it seems pretty fucking awesome so far. Ed Harris is great in this movie, and Bonnie Bedelia, she's very hot. Love her. So, uh, yeah, Needful Things. This is a out of print, so... Awesome to have another out-of-print MGM title in the collection, but I do need to finish this soon. Haven't seen this one yet, neither, but, I mean, can't go wrong with Rowdy Roddy Piper and fucking just looking at the cover and watching the trailer, I don't see how you could go wrong with this. I don't see how I could dislike this movie at all. So, hell comes to Frogtown. I'm going to watch that tonight. <clears throat> We have the original artwork of the Langoliers, and, you know, I've started on it at first. I really didn't like it. I thought it was very slow as opposed to other Stephen King TV interpretations that I love. This one was kind of not really impressing me at first, but it's got David Morrison, and he's great as an actor. And, you know, I love Tom Holland as a director. So I watched about an hour into it, and it started getting pretty good. And I kind of like where the story's going, and so I'm going to check it out, finish it, and... This is actually the second copy I bought of this. I just I bought it because it's Republic Pictures Artisan release and the price was right and trying to collect all of those. I love these original artworks with the 
Republic Pictures logo on there. It's great stuff. Last but not least, we have the two-disc Blue Underground edition of Dead and Buried. I just watched this movie all the way through, like, last week, and I was very impressed. I remember as a kid, and when I'd see bit scenes from it, like I saw it, see some of the murder scenes, I thought it was just a straight-up slasher that didn't really have much of a, you know, <clears throat> didn't really have much of a storyline to it, but actually the storyline is very genius, and it's got Jack Albertson in it. He was the grandpa, and a... Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, and he's just great in it, and it's got young Robert England in it, but what the hell am I telling you guys for? I know most of y'all have seen this, but yeah, that's it for today's haul, but there's uh, you know, there's some other stuff coming in the mail, but it's all, from what I've seen, it's going to take a while for the next few titles to get here, maybe, I don't know, eBay so back and forth, you never know. Sometimes they say it's going to come in a week, and then you get it in, like, a, you know, the next day. So, hoping I ain't got to wait too long for the next few titles. But, uh, yeah, I got some moves to catch up on, and I'm, it's Monday night. I'm sure you guys got some chilling to do of your own. So, uh, until next time, rock on.